Talk? Okay. I'm not gonna talk about belly buttons and dogs today. I can talk about how you eat, so you know how you eat something too much and then you just don't like it anymore? Hey guys, this week I'm gonna talk about change and how even through change, God is still consistent. So this past year, starting last August, I decided I wanted to dye my hair and I'd been begging my mom to dye my hair probably forever and she finally like gave in and let me get a little bit of blonde in my hair. So I got a little bit of blonde and I loved it at first and then a few months later it grew out to the point where like I wanted to get more. So I went back and got it dyed again and this time I just didn't really like it that much but I was like oh well I'll be fine because it was like really blonde and I just wasn't comfortable with it. Then a few months went by and it had a grow out line so I went back to the lady and got it done again and this time I just really didn't like her. She, she did a great job, but I just didn't like it. And my way to fix it was um, two weeks later, I decided to put toner in my hair. And I had no idea what that was gonna do. Like, I don't mean, I don't know. So I just put it in my hair and let it sit. And then I took a shower and when I got out of the shower, my hair was orange, so embarrassing. So I went to a hairdresser the next day, called her in a panic and got it dyed what was supposed to be brown. Well, it was so orange that when it was dyed brown, it came out red, like like super deep, dark red. I absolutely did not like it, but there's nothing I could do about it. So I just told my mom, I was like, yay, I love it, this is great, we'll keep going. So months went by and then I came to, I think January or February, and there was another, like the red had faded to orange again. So I decided to dye it brown myself. And this time when I dyed it brown, it came out black. I haven't dyed it since then, but it faded and now it's like this red color and I'm just gonna, this is my punishment. I'm going to have to grow and deal with my hair until it just goes back brown. Side note, don't dye your hair. So every day I woke up and I just wanted something different with my, it happened to be with my hair, but just in general, I just wasn't content with myself and my hair color. And every day I woke up um, wanting for change, wanting a different color hair. I just looked at myself and I just wasn't content with what I was seeing. But the one thing that was consistent in my life was my relationship with the Lord. And the other day I was watching a podcast by Sadie Robertson. She was interviewing Emma Jenkins and Emma Jenkins kept referring to her a relationship with God as a dance. And at first I thought that was super cheesy. Like when people say they're dating Jesus, I was like, Ugh, I don't like that. But she later, Sadie asked her to explain why she called it a dance. And she said that every day she wakes up and it's not the same. Like one day she feels like she's taken three steps with the Lord and then the next day one backwards and the next one to the side. Saying like, one day I'll wake up and I'm on fire for the Lord and it's so easy to do what He wants me to do. Then the very next day I might wake up and feel like it's difficult to um, not fall for temptation and not do the things that the Lord wants me to do. And, but through it all, Jesus is still consistent. And she described it as a daughter dancing on her father's feet and how like she's holding on to her father and he's leading the way, but if she falls off, he'll pick her back up and she'll still be on his feet dancing. So I challenge you, if you're feeling distant from the Lord or like just a little off, that just know you're still dancing with him. And that even though you may not feel the growth, you may still be growing. Bye guys, this Sunday night the 12th is the first summer night, it's graffiti night, and I really hope to see you guys there because it is my first opportunity to see all you guys together and I'm really excited. Bye bye. I already said bye. <laughs>